Uh, hello everybody, we are pleased to present to you our project about very important and still unsolved problem of uh, detecting Alzheimer's disease at early stage. Uh, so in our project we were uh, identifying autoantibodies associated with this disease and uh, actually to detect it at early stage. So we meet our data, uh, we had 90 samples uh, including uh, 50 from uh, ill people and uh, 40 for healthy. And also we have, 9, after some processing, we have 9,353 proteins. Uh, for each sample, we did our uh, biomarkers for antibodies which we were identifying. Um, so it's actually our data. <laughs> uh, obviously, you can say anything about this, uh -huh. <laughs> that picture. So we tried to visualize it. Uh, we applied PCA uh, principal component analysis. And from that picture, uh, you can see that uh, samples for healthy and ill people are actually separated, and they are different. Uh, so our objects were to find most significantly differential proteins between Alzheimer's patients and healthy people, and also to build a classifier for our data. Uh, as with in case of previous team, uh, our the most part of uh, data was taken uh, for uh, preparing data our pro for processing. So it's our raw data and uh, it's hardly to say anything from that <laughs> picture. Uh, so uh, we took only significant proteins uh, and applying a t-test. Uh, then we uh, exclude highly correlated proteins and eventually we took uh, top 10 proteins by their p-value and uh, uh, we worked uh, in our model with, uh, those, with those proteins. And from that picture you see that they are already separated for ill and healthy people. And at this point, I'll give a word to my colleague, Nicola. She'll tell you about some model and about our bi biological interpretation of results and statistics. So, uh, we choose the, the algorithm, Rainforest. Okay, I will I see some doubts. So, <laughs> so we chose the Rainforest. And um, we decided to um, uh, divide our uh, data to training and uh, uh, test. Uh, test set, yes, like, um, normally. <laughs> and so we train the model and uh, get some results. And this is what what we get. So um, ninety eight percent um, in a training set, and then uh, ninety two percent in test set. So now you now you may be thinking like. Ha <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we, we did everything correctly. We had cross validation. We did it like we, we repeated. Um, we didn't want to be p hackers, so we just um, uh, tried another uh, one algorithm. But uh, like everything was okay, so it's it's just <laughs> clear. And then. Uh, then uh, uh, in bioinformatics it's very important to know uh, what, what does it mean when you when you get the result. So we have nice accuracy but it's important to know what, what that really mean. Uh, and uh, then we, when we start into uh, searching for um, other uh, research where um, researchers did the same, uh, we realized that it's okay that we have uh, so huge accuracy. Uh, because also uh, in the previous models, uh, when they were working with um, uh, antibodies, uh, they uh, had also a really uh, high accuracy. So that means that um, we can say that Alzheimer's disease is uh, basically autoimmune, autoimmune disease. Uh, so we kind of uh, supported this uh, hypothesis with our results and uh, because those autoantibodies can predict the diagnosis so that's really uh, important uh, so uh, yes so those two guys like those proteins are uh, like it's fine that we know them but they are actually not good <laughs> so it's, it's, it's not really good that they're there and this is our thing we were working with the art and you can see those people there so Oksana Hello. <laughs> and our supervisor was Elena, so it was a pleasure to work with this amazing team. Uh, and uh, yes, this is <laughs> 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 <laughs>